This math talk is yet another application of quadratic optimization. And it looks at the height in meters of the main cable of the Golden Gate Bridge above the road surface at a distance of x meters from the North Tower. And it says that it can be approximated by the equation h equals 19 over 51,200 x squared, subtract 19 over 40 x plus 155. What we need to do is determine the minimum height of the cable, that main cable, above the road surface. To try and get a visual of this graphically, we're picturing a parabola that opens upwards, something like this. And our hope is to find that low point, or in other words, that vertex point on the parabola. Given that we're dealing with a quadratic relation in standard form, one of the better strategies is to try and find symmetric points. And those represent two points at the same height on the quadratic relation, one being on the vertical axis and one being somewhere left or right of that. And so our technique for doing that is to factor first our standard form, or partially factor it, I should say. It looks a little bit daunting, but it's actually not that bad. Common factoring out the 19 over 51,200x, inside the brackets we are left with x subtract 1280. And if you're unsure how that was done, I took the 19 over 40 and divided by 19 over 51,200. And interestingly enough, that comes out to be 1,280. And if you did a little bit of research on the Golden Gate Bridge, you might find out the significance of that 1,280. What I see from that is that when x equals zero, much of what we see on the right-hand side of that equation vanishes and we're just left with h equaling 155. And that becomes one of our symmetric points. The same is true if we allow x to equal 1280. Again, much of what you see on the right-hand side of that equation vanishes and we're left with h being 155. And so we find the second symmetric point. Just as with the symmetry of x-intercepts, the symmetric points lie equidistant from the axis of symmetry. So in order to find the vertex, we just need to average the two x-coordinates of the two symmetric points. So we take the 0 and the 1280, add them, divide by 2, we get 640. And so to get the height value at 640, I can substitute either in the original standard form equation or the partially factored equation that I have. And I get that h is 3. And my concluding statement is simply, at the center point of the bridge, 640 meters from the North Tower, the cable is 3 meters above the road surface. Problem complete. Thanks for watching.